Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, I thought I would do a 2020 goals, resolutions, my bucket list. Hope that you had a great Christmas. I have not seen you since Christmas. I know my Christmas was rough, but I am feeling so much better now. I hope that you will enjoy this video, so let's just get into it. Before we jump into it though, I would like to say a huge thank you for all of you who are already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. I hope that you will be supporting me in this new year, in this year of the moon. And if you are not subscribed, you can do that down below. But guys, please do not forget to hit the bell icon as well because YouTube can be crazy sometimes and if you hit the bell icon you will just get a push notification so you will never miss any of my videos so yeah if you want to just do that down there okay let's get into the video so for some people getting into the new year is uh, all about this huge mentality of new year new me for me that is not entirely the case but for me it gives a really good sense of a fresh start and now that we are hitting not just a new year but a new decade I don't know there is just some kind of new energy around this whole thing even before the new year started I knew that I wanted to get into journaling a little bit more and just setting my intentions in a way that I put it down on a piece of paper or in a notebook and not just have it in my head or in my mood board which you can see right behind me these are great ways of expressing what you want to get in your life, um, what kind of energy you're putting out there. I feel like you can sense that I'm kind of a spiritual person, which may be weird because I am studying psychology and you could think that those two things conflict with each other. I feel like they're not, so I'm just gonna go with this mentality. If you don't agree with me, then you don't agree with me. Let's just get into what I want to show you in my new notebook. So because I am kind of an anxious person, um, everything that is in my head could get really um, confusing and I have a lot of thoughts and just writing them down helps me a lot. So I went up to Pinterest and saw a lot of these uh, pictures, how girls and boys uh, do their uh, journaling. So let's just go with the first one. The first of my goals is achieving my creative goals. This may be a goal in a goal. In terms of this, I mean uh, being creative on YouTube, being creative in um, upgrading a little bit my room. I don't know, also in writing, basically just everything. I have set a few goals for myself and uh, yeah, I just want to achieve them. My goal number two is travel to places I have never been to. Okay, so this is a huge thing for me. This is something consistent in my life. I love to travel. I love to see new places, uh, get to know new people. Living in one place for me is just not the way of living for me. I have to move around this planet of ours as much as I can. I think this also comes from my age. I'm 24 and this is the time of that age when you just want to get to know everyone and just see everything and experience things that you have not experienced before. I don't want to go crazy, like don't get me wrong. I just, I want to go see, I don't know, like the Maldives. I want to go to Canada. I want to see different parts of Spain. I would love to travel to Japan sometime, it's not this year <laughs> because I don't have the money right now but I think you get what, I, what I'm saying. And finally goal number three is finding the right thesis topic and sticking to it. You may or may not know that I'm studying um, psychology, I'm in my masters and uh, we have to pick our topic for our thesis this uh, semester, I mean this next semester. I'm planning to join a uh, research team who already have a ongoing research and trying to apply to be able to work with them. I just have to think about a topic, like a smaller topic in that big topic that they are researching in. Um, yeah, I will talk about it later, I am sure, if you are watching my weekly vlogs, university vlogs, then you will see me talking about it for sure. Okay, let's move on to resolutions. It's finding the right type of workout for myself. Okay, so if you know me from my early ages, I was always the one who was trying out new sports like every year. I did 
uh, ballet for 14 years, I did hip hop for three years, I was just always doing something. Why I wrote this down is uh, that I want to find the right workout for myself so that I will stick to it. Okay, resolution number two, journaling every day, yeah. So this is also about being consistent and just not being um, like, okay, I will do it in the first month and it's 2020, let's go, let's get it. And then after a, I don't know, after a month, like university comes back, exam period is done and you're there with like um, empty pages and you forgot to do it again. So. I don't want to be like that, I want to uh, grow from this because I am seeing that I'm growing for this. I've only been doing it for a week and it just feels so good, like every night I'll sit down and I just fill out the pages that I will show you in the planning part of this video. Um, so yeah, journaling every day, doing that. Okay, resolution number three, taking even more care of my mental health. Whoa, okay. Um, I think that it's pretty obvious that I'm a huge advocate for mental health. Um, in Hungary, it's a bit hard um, to be open about this. I feel like it may be just only in my surroundings, but in Hungary, what I see is that um, it's really sti stigmatized. I think that's the right word that it's really stigmatized if you have a mental health issue and they just don't I mean the majority of people don't see how deeply it is important to go to a mental health specialist to go to therapy if you have a, a problem or if you have just a question about yourself if you're dealing with something whether on the other hand if you have an injury and it's something external and I don't know you break something you go to the doctors right away I don't like this way of thinking I get why um, the majority of Hungarian people can be this way um, like I understand it and that's fine but I hope that the younger generations will see it um, differently and I hope that they will take more care about their mental health and I also want to be uh, that person and if I am having this channel and I have this small little platform and I can advocate for it then I am going to so yeah this is me telling also you but not just um, telling to myself to take more care about your mental health if you need help reach out um, yeah I have talked about this in so many videos of mine and I'm continuing to do so because people seem to not get the gist of it um, yeah bottom line is that so how i am planning to do this is by journaling by doing yoga and meditation and um, also traveling for me again with this topic but traveling for me just helps a lot and i am also in uh, therapy which is kind of like half of it like i have to do it but i also want to do it i have to do it for my course um, but I also want to do it because I need help with a uh, few things. I want to be able to help people in the future and be a good therapist and to be able to do that I have to be like kind of 100% okay with myself so I don't project my problems onto my patients in the future. So yeah, taking, taking good care of our minds and not just our body. Ditching another fast fashion brand um, I've talked about this uh, before as well. I also don't want to be a hypocrite that I don't buy anything there. That is not true. I have ditched H&M and Zara. In the last year, I completely disagree with their um, way of thinking. It's not ethical and it just makes me angry so much. I always think like, oh, those shoes look bomb and I would look so good in those and I would feel myself and then again I think about the uh, children and the young women and the young men who are working for them for a dollar a day for 12 hours a day and then I'm like okay just I don't want it like I can buy something else from somewhere else I have no idea which brand I'm not going to buy from this year. I'm just taking baby steps. I could talk about this for hours, so let's just get into the next one.
I also wrote down motto of the year. 2020 is going to be, or it is already, the year of the moon. I will stop touching my hair now, I'm sorry. Ugh. I just don't know how to put it. I just washed it and it's just like huge, like a lion. Like, I look like Dobby. Like, yeah, perfect. So moving on, year of the moon. It can mean whatever you want it to mean for you. My motto has kind of something to do with it. Less is sometimes more. I am not going to get into what it means for me entirely, but for example, I want to buy things that are going to be with me and they may be on the more expensive side, but it will be something that I will use not just this year, but in the next and in the next. So I guess what I mean by this is I'm trying to invest in myself a bit more and trying to be more conscious about uh, financials. On the other hand, about my energy, where you put your energy, that will become your reality. I am just seeing that it's extremely true. Whenever I'm focusing on something and focusing on creating something, um, I don't, I, I don't know how to put it into words, you just realize it that a mentality that you have if you're always like, oh, I'm never going to do this and it's never going to happen and you quit, then, then your mentality switch into this negative space, then what you're going to see in your life and in your everyday are just the bad things. That's not good. I mean, at least that's not what I want my life to be like so that's why i'm trying to create a space and trying to create a mentality when even the worst and the shittiest moments in my life happen because there have been a lot in the past and i'm sure that there are gonna be so bad days in this year and in my life forward which is completely normal by the way i just want to be that person who sees the small little light like the small things I know that I'm rambling and I'm so far away from what I started out with my motto but what I just wanted to say is that having a positive mentality doesn't mean that you have to be positive about everything and anything that happens to you. It means, I mean at least for me, it means seeing the bright side even of the bad things. Let's move on to my bucket list for the year. I'm trying to speed this up because I don't want this video to be super, super long. First, handstand in my yoga practice. I've tried this before, I failed, I kind of did it, and I also got made fun of in my last uh, university. Um, I don't know what was that about, that's not nice. Guys, I'm trying, like I know I'm not perfect. Um, but yeah, a handstand, I want to be able to do it I see these pictures and I just can't imagine how much strength goes into this. And Number two is travel anywhere with my boyfriend. He is, I feel like he's just getting into traveling. So I just want to go somewhere with him. It can be anywhere, I don't care. I just want him to be there with me and have new memories and just great experiences with him. That was so cheesy, but yeah. That's on my bucket list. Last but not least um, is writing another song. Um, yeah, so I was just thinking about this. If you scroll back in my uh, YouTube page, you can see that there is a video that is called Exhale Me. And that is a song that I wrote a year and a half ago. I wrote the uh, lyrics and one of my really, really good friends and great musicians uh, help me with the music. I'm just so grateful that I did that project. Yeah, I just want to make it happen. I just want to Do another song and this also like is in connection with being more creative and achieving my goals. So wink wink I may do something else another song Who knows? Okay, so these are my goals resolutions bucket list and uh, also my motto for the year. I'm also going to show you right now how I am planning all of this and what I have in my planner so far. I think it's a great thing because you can customize it for yourself. My best friend or she just got a planner from her twin sister and she was showing it to me yesterday. And although I love 
um, these planners. Um, I also have one which I've shown you like a ton of times, this daily planner. I love it. It's just really um, strict, like it's already laid out for you. And so I've decided to only use this for my um, academic things. If you want me to get into that a bit more, then just leave a comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. This is my Instagram and I will show you, but I will stick to university stuff in this one. Getting back to my journal. On the first page, you would have seen that I have goals, resolutions, the motto and the bucket list for the year, which we have just talked about right now. I want to start off every month with a motto or like a quote. For this month, for January, as it being the year of the moon, I wanted to start this out with the moon. The quote that I wrote down is, be the moon and inspire people even if you're far from full. On the right, in this next page, I have January in Hungarian written down. I don't know why I wrote it in Hungarian because every other thing or almost every other thing is in English. Anyways, I just have the numbers with the days. I have not filled this out yet, but I will do so later. If I flip the page, I have the morning routine part, which I have also not filled out yet. I want to fill it out when I am really getting into a routine. On the next page, I have the dates again and I have events on the right and I have tasks uh, just below it in Hungarian. I will just uh, write only the main events and only the main tasks that I have for this month. If I flip the page I have my goals and my favorites. These goals are only for uh, January. If you look on the right I have this little jar which represents my savings on the left of the jar i have the amounts of money that i was able to save and on the right i'm going to just write down the date when i achieved that goal and below that i have spent on so i will just write down whatever i spent on uh, this month flipping the page we have the netflix and movies section I will just write down whatever I have uh, watched this uh, month. I am starting to watch Rick and Morty season three. We started watching Harry Potter in order with my mom and her husband. We've already seen these movies a ton. They're my favorite. I grew up on it. So yeah, it's just nice to watch it all over again. On the right side, I have the YouTube section. I have every day written down and I just highlight whenever I'm going to upload something. But I will also write down ideas when I have new ideas for a video. We're almost at the end. I want to do this every month, which is a mood tracker. This is a really simple one. Um, this is just like a circle and every day is a part of a circle and below the circle I have these four uh, cubes with different colors. On the right side, we have another tracker, which is my workout tracker. Uh, this can mean any type of workout. And last but not least, on my final page, I have my anxiety tracker. I just want to be able to look back how I am progressing and how am I doing. I just have these little hearts um, and I also have the colors that I have used in my mood tracker. I just wanted to do something which roughly represents how I am feeling so these are not exact percentages for sure so these are the pages that I have in my planner so far I think this is all the pages that I'm going to do for January this is a good way of starting out I think it will be fun to use like new colors I have all these uh, pencils that I'm using I'm obsessed with stationery I just bought this new pen for my exam it's fun to get creative and just customize however you want to customize your uh, pages. So these are the three notebooks that I'm going to use uh, this year for planning. Um, I have my resolutions in them, I have my goals, I have everything. I feel like they're helping me so much, not just with my anxiety, but only like getting my life together and just keeping me motivated. If you watch my videos from front to back, does help my engagement so I'm trying to keep my videos as short as possible but I'm a really talkative girl so it's really hard for me to just 
shut up and just focus on the one thing that I want to talk about. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You can find my Instagram here and you can also find my Twitter right here if you want to subscribe there and follow me right there just please do so and I have also started a TikTok channel this may be weird for some people I feel so old in there I am definitely not going to do these challenges and everything but what you can expect from me is like food videos travel videos um, videos about um, my YouTube channel and um, maybe fashion videos we will see, we will see. So yeah, I also have a TikTok, um, it's the same name, it's just at Afidini1 if you want to go ahead and follow me there. Thank you so much if you subscribe or if you like this video, I really appreciate it. And uh, I think I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!